Hello everybody, this is Sri Devi, Assistant Professor at the Department of ISC, Dayanand Sagar Academy of Technology and Management. In this video, I am going to be taking you through the function for adding two polynomials which are stored in an array. We have already seen the polynomial representation and uh, how we can store a polynomial into the array. So here we have two polynomials, 5x power 6 minus 3x cubed plus 2x and 3x cubed plus 7x square plus 5x plus 9. We have already stored the data into your uh, array, that is your uh, PA. So, polynomial array has two fields, so coefficient and exponent. Each, uh, it is an array, so each index is going to store the one term data. So, here we have 5x power 6, which is stored as 5 and 6 here. The second term minus 3x cube is stored here and so on. So, we are going to indicate the start and end of your arrays with SA, FA and so on. So, SA is the start of your first polynomial. FA is the end of your second polynomial, SB is for the polynomial B, FB end of polynomial B. We are now going to add these two polynomials and we are going to put it to your away list. Now SB actually starts from 3x cube, so SB is going to be from 3. Now we are going to add the polynomials and the added polynomial is just going to be appended to the same array. So we are going to keep track of an avail. So, avail indicates the available slot, so where we can actually store the new data. Now, we are going to see how it is going to be implemented using C. So, let us look at the function. So, we have a poly add function to which you are passing the details which we already have. That is start and finish points of your uh, polynomial A and start and finish uh, po points of your polynomial B. Now, we are going to start storing the sum starting from the away list. So, we are going to use uh, another indicator start D and we are going to start at the away list. So, let us go back and just initialize this uh, SD to the away list. Let us see how the addition actually happens. Like I said, the logic. So, we are going to take one term from each of the polynomials. We are going to keep adding the terms until you finish both the polynomials. So, when you are doing your comparison, you are comparing the exponents here. So, first exponent and the sex, uh, second ex uh, exponent. If both are same, you are going to do a sum. If not, you are going to take the largest term and put it to your avail list. So, that will be the logic which we will be following here. So, let us uh, start. Since you have multiple terms, you will be doing this operation uh, multiple times. So, you are going to use a loop here. So, as long as there are terms, in your polynomials, you are going to keep repeating this process. So, you are going to start with a while loop here. So, as long as SA is less than or equal to FA, so and SB is less than or equal to FB, you, go, you are uh, repeating the process. Now, comparison happens between the uh, exponents as usual. So, there are three possibilities. So, the first exponent, so you, like you can see in this case, the first exponent is greater than the second exponent. So, you have to get the first uh, term from the first poly polynomial and put it to the answer directly. So, if it is equal, you are going to do a sum. So, let us see how this is happening in your function. So, right now, SA is pointing to the location 0. SB is pointing to the location 3. We are going to compare the exponents at the location 0 and the location 3. Now, what is the exponent at the location 0? You have 6. You are going to check if it is less than the exponent at the location 3. So, you have exponent is also 3. So, 6 is less than 3 condition fails. You are going to move on and check if 6 is greater than 3. In this case, 6 is greater than 3. The condition is true. So, you are going to take the first term from the first polynomial and add it to your answer. So, it goes to your answer like this. So, let us see how it is done. So, whatever is at the exponent, so the exponent 3 and, and at the position 3, so we, it is SA. So, SA indicates the value SA is right now 0. So, PA of 0 dot exponent which is 6 the exponent value is 6, I am going to store it to the avail list. So, avail exponent field I am going to fill with 6. The coefficient at the location 0, that is your index 0, so the coefficient we have is 5. 
that I am going to add it to your array list. So this indicates that the first term 5x power 6 has been added to your answer. So let us write it here for our reference. Now SA is going to be incremented along with your avail. So SA is moved to the next location. Even avail is moved to the next location because we have the empty slot now starts from the location 8. Since you are inside a loop, you are going to repeat the process. So let us repeat this. So I am going to clear this out. Now let's repeat. So the value of 6a as SA is 1. SB is now 3. Now look at the exponents at the location 1. So the location 1 has the exponent 3. The location 3 at the SB is also 3. So since both the exponents are same, so the first case fails. 3 is less than 3. 3 is greater than 3 also fails. So you are left with the third condition where they are equal. Since they are equal, you are going to add the coefficients which are in both the locations. Now look at the coefficients at SA and coefficient at SB. The coefficient is minus 3 at SA and the coefficient at uh, SB is 3. So when you add minus 3 and 3, you get 0 as an answer, so which is not going to be added to your result. So if you can see that, only if the sum is not equal to 0, you are going to do some additions to your array list. Since minus 3 and uh, 3 cancel themselves, we are simply going to increment the values of SA and SB to indicate that we are done with these terms. So SB and SA both are incremented. As you can see, we are done with these two terms. On addition, we got the answer of these two terms as 0 and so it is not added to your array list. You are going to repeat the process one more time since you have few more terms to deal with. So let's repeat. Now look at the value of SA and SB. SA is at the position 2. SB is at the position 4. Now look at the exponents at the position 2. So exponent at position 2 is 1 whereas the exponent at position SB of here that is 4 is 2. 1 is less than 2, the condition is true. So you are going to start with this. So repeat this. So avail list, avail is at the position 8 now. So as you can see here, avail is at uh, 8. So let me write it here. So SB, SB is at the position 4. Now we are going to take the exponent at the position 4, that is 2, and put it to your answer, that is avail list. The coefficient at the SB position that is 7 is also going to be copied to the coefficient now. So as you can see this indicates that 7x square is getting added to your result. So I am going to write it here. Now after adding as you can see avail and SB both are being incremented. So SB actually moves to the next location. Even avail moves to the next location. Let's repeat the process one more time since we still have terms to go. Now, FA, so we have SA. So, SA is at the position 2. Look at SB, it is at the position 5. Look at the exponents at those uh, indexes. So, SA's exponent is 1, whereas SB's is also 1. 1 less than 1 condition fails. Since they are equal, you are supposed to add them. So, the first and second conditions fail. So, you are going to go to the third condition. Since the exponents are same, so we are done with 7x square. Let me strike it out. Now, since we are uh, done with this, so we have both SA and uh, SB pointing to terms which have same exponents, we need to add those two. That is basically we are adding 2x and 5x right now. Now, on adding, so the coefficients, so coefficients you have are 2 and 5. So 2 and 5 get added and the sum is 7. Since the sum is not equal to 0, we are going to take the exponent from any one of the locations. You can take SA or SB. 
so you can take the value and put it to your avail list so exponent at sa is 1 so that goes to your answer that is your avail list now this is going to be sum here so make it as sum so sum is going to be added to your list so sum so the sum you got was 7 7 is going to be added to your list so 5x plus 2x you get the answer as 7 so 7x you are going to add it to the result let us repeat the process so we are going to go for the last term so which is the left if you look at it, SA and SB are going to be incremented. Since SA and SB are getting incremented, SA goes to the next location, SB goes to the next location. So 2x has been added, 5x has also been added. Now, you have reached the end of one of the polynomials, but still, if you look at it, you have one more term left in your uh, polynomial B, which needs to be added to your result. So you are going to be coming out of your while loop because SA less than or equal to SA fails in this case and you are left with the next two while loops. These while loops are to make sure that whatever pending uh, terms are present in any of the polynomials, those get added to your result. If, if you look at this, while SA is less than or equal to FA, condition fails here because SA is 3 and FA is 2. This indicates that there are no more terms left in polynomial A. When you come to the next while loop, you see that SB less than or equal to FB condition is true here. So SB is actually 6, FB is also 6. So you are going to just take the values which are present at, the, at that location and store it to your away list. So you get 9 and 0 added to your away. So away would have shifted. Now, this is how you are going to get the answer. So this is how you are doing the sum of two polynomials using arrays. I hope you are clear with the concept. Thank you.